What's up guys, this is Wixelite signing in and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Sorry, I was a bit close to the microphone there. Right, okay, so we've got two doors to go through. There's one that leads us outstairs and upwards, but I think my first choice will going through the liquor door. I'm hoping I don't see it yet because I don't have bullets to fight with it. Did I put my crossbow away? Or did I keep that on me like a fool? Plus, I need to come. Yeah, I left it. I kept it on me. I've got no bullets for it. I'm going to put that thing away, too. I need to remember where that is. Right, first of all, I need to um, move this technically to here. Move the knife to there. Take the rounds out. Put them there. Right. Now, the crossbow. So, we've got the grenade launcher, acid rounds, green rounds, gray rounds, and red rounds. So, I'll put those there. Put the bowgun there, so it's all in order. Now all I've got myself is a gun and herbs. Sweet. Alright, that should be okay to live with. Did I use this? There's nothing else more. Okay. Okay, the liquor came through that window, didn't he? So, let's go see what we can deal with here. And hopefully nothing too scary. Or too bad. I'm glad R1 is aim button. Yeah, I don't like the angle of the window. So I'm just going to step over this way a little bit. Because there's plenty of ways to go the other way. And I hear droplets of water too. And that guy's got no head. No more close switch for the shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. Fuck. Well, Claire, is there something there? Let's go on this side of the zombie. I feel safer. Closest to the wall. I feel like if we go to the red blotch, I'd... Spade. Well, fuck. I don't know if I feel clo... Okay. The liquor has arrived. Part two and you see this straight away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know if it's a fight this or just run in fear. This is just like a freaking humanoid dog. You know what? I'm gonna stand and fight. I know for the best. Never mind. I can't kill that with what I've got. Okay, so if a 10-1 didn't go very well, I think... Um, we'll go down the other way this time. Until we get something stronger that I can deal with it with. Because I think a liquor... Yeah, I've got a pistol. Maybe. It takes three hits to die from it. But, again, I want to survive these attacks. So, today, I will try and take these two out. I'm going to have to get through these guys. Oh, God, this three. Uh, this four. Uh, f yep, this four. I'm just going to have to go through this door. I'm just going to have to ignore those for now. I could fight and kill, but it's something I... Don't want to waste bullets with. You know? And hopefully there's something in here that I actually didn't pick up. But I don't think that's possible. So, there was two doors to go through. Was this a good door or a bad door? Okay, I'll have to go upstairs then. See where I can go for for now. If not, then I'll just have to try and explore around a little bit. The liquor's too powerful for me at the moment. Maybe having a shotgun may help. Or something a little bit stronger that can pack a punch towards it. Might be advisable. Ah, sweet. That can go with the current herbs I have. Very nice. Very nice. Oops, I didn't put my shit away. Hey, didn't matter. That's what I should have done. Oh well. Ah, fuck. <clears throat> well, guess the only way to go is either the liquor way or the freaking zombie horde way. And my choices so far, I'm going to go for the zombie horde way. It feels like it's the only place I can go. Unless I take my chance with a lit lick again. So I really don't want to do that. Okay, you're going to come alive soon, and I know you are, because you're just laying there, not doing anything. So we need a heart key, I need a spade key. Alright, when do we need the club key and the other key? We'll find out. See, this is what I like about Resident Evil. Or oh, the second one, I think it is. Because a lot of them have, like, so many different ways to go. It is unreal. Right. I'm gonna have to take some of these guys out. 
If I stay on this side of the road... Well, if I'm lucky enough... Maybe? I need a grenade for this. I'm going to die, on I, again? Oh, I've got a bite on me. There's too many. There's too many. There's too many. That is so hard. What the fuck? Shit. I guess I'm going to go bite the lick away then, I guess. Okay, let's see if this... Let's see if this goes a lot better than it was last time. Because I can't go through the door because I need a key for it. I think that's the first key I get. What if I avoid him? Could that also happen? Can I skip the cutscene? No, but I can skip it for you guys. Oh, never mind. I figured I could skip it. I'm going to go run. Ow. I'm just going to go this way. Go fuck yourself, Lick Lick. Okay. Well, I got past it. I'll just try and keep it in the wings. Until I find something strong. Unless it chases me. That could be bad. I didn't think it could chase me. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Well, at least we can go through here, though. At least we can make progress, at least. I may have to, like, change the difficulty setting, though. If I'm not making no progress. Okay, what danger are we on? Yellow. Well, I've got enough for... Uh, at least orange. So that's good. Operation Report. September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the following operation are as follows. Security of ar armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, on the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition ca caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remaining in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been able to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the, in the power room and secure those locks. Operation report September 26th, 26th, 27th, 100 p.m. or 1 p.m. in the morning. Well, afternoon, sorry. Uh, the West Barricades has, has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room and the first floor temporarily. 12 more people were injured in the battle. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. This is the liquor. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. The numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. And I've got to be careful of that fucking beast. I hate that thing. But oh well. Right, can I get a key in here so I can go to the freaking armor's room where the stars unit is? To get that there shotgun. Unless I like open the door, take a shot, then walk out and then take a shot again. Okay, so this room was basically just telling me about the liquor. Is that what it was? Because that's pretty gay. Can I get a secret thingy from like, like well, this is not Silent Hills, is it? So, I don't think I'll be able to get anything secretive. So that's great. These chairs look ugly as fuck. Okay, let's see what's in the back. Should be a dude. If I'm correct. So I need a thingy for here. It's a fireplace and oil painting hangs above it. The title is Sacrifice to Hell a Fire, so I need to have a lighter for that. Okay, so there's nothing in here apart from the information about telling me what happened to the rest of the people in the building and that the freaking red thing with patches missing, ray sharp teeth, and a brain for a head. It's called a liquor. I need to be careful. Oh, hang on, there's a desk. Nope. 
All right. Well, nothing else in here then. Well, shit. I don't know what I'm going to be doing then. Where can I go? Just help me. Okay, stay away from the windows. That much I know. Okay. It's a good thing the liquor doesn't chase you. I know in some, some Resident Evils they can chase you. And it was nice to see them back in number Resident Evil 5. It was cool to see those guys. Oh no. There's people here. <laughs> I'm going to skip past this bitch. Oh, bollocks. A diamond. Well. Oh, thanks, thanks, Claire. Nope, just run. Just run. Get off him. Get off him. Get off her. Go. 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 I want orange. I want orange. Now I'm on red. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, well. I'm going to sneak past you. Bollocks. Get off me, bitch. Oh, fuck off. God damn me in this freaking game, you know. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. But what I'm going to do, though, if I die again, or whatever happens, right, I need to try and plan my route. There we go. Right, I'm going to try and dodge them like... There you go. That were better. Yeah, I'm going to be sneaky and take these two. Because I've got the chance to do this. This is what I wanted to do, you see. Skills and stuff. That's how you avoid zombies the good, the cool way. Right, in here should be a storage room that should be open. This could be my checking point. <laughs> Now I've got something. There's also a secret costume here if you have a key. I think you got to beat the game first, though. Right, let's combine you with you. Yup. I've got two of those, so I can put one of those away. There is a safe room in here, yes? Yes, there is. I think it's in the back. Isn't there one right next to it? No, there isn't. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, there is. There we go. Alright, so now I can save it with that. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Right, it's locked. A special kind of key is required. Yeah, you need to beat the game for it. It's locked. A special kind of key. What about the second one? Yeah, okay, one's for Leon, one's for Claire, I think. Ooh. Oh, sweet. I need those. Thanks, game. Any more for any more? Ooh, there's a note on the back. Of the table. Maybe not. No? The camera. Okay, I about to say that was referencing camera. Um, Project Zero, but came out way after. Right. Take those out for now. I want to look around. So what's in the oh wait yeah there's a camera in here, isn't there? You can use it, I think. Oh no. Because the camera thing's back here. Right, is there anything important back here though? I feel like it can be though for later. Yeah, you should get some films, you get a picture of um, Rebecca Chambers in a bikini, I think. The game's a little in of like, yo, want some sexuality in this game? It'll give you that bit. Because obviously everyone was stingy about nudity back in those days. <laughs> well, there we go then. Right, that should technically be part two, but still. Oh well, I'm getting somewhere though. Usually we'll be ending the video here. The dark room. I'd say this is a safe room, to be honest. But I thought there were going to be more weapons in here. But one pack of bullets is better than nothing, I guess. Right, that goes above the knife. Okay. Good. Now I've got to try and figure out how to avoid all these do bags in here. But at least I've saved it. So I've got somewhere to go. I didn't find the liquor. I ignored him. But I didn't get hit by him this time. This is my avoiding zombies run. Like so. Okay, that time that time was terrible. If I'm good enough. Right, okay. There we go. Hearing any noises. Okay, well, I feel like... No, I'm not orange yet. It's okay. Okay, here we go. What is through here then? Do we see the child now or does that later? The knob turns but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Okay, right. What do you want me to do with you two? Okay, bronze goes on bronze, doesn't it? Something is written on the mountain. The god of sun and the god of moon, their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. Okay, so this guy needs to go on the other side. Let's move you, dude. Let's go. The first Resident Evil puzzle. Not hard at all. But at least I can waste my time doing this. And then go back down to save it again. Which made no sense. I should have waited. But again, if I died, then that's why it's there. 
little safety point. Maybe a hard one to beat though on normal, so may take a few attempts for me to actually do this. Or to play this game in general, but that's why I'm playing it on the PS2 or the PS1 or whatever freaking recording it on my laptop. Because then with it. Okay, so that's locked in place. Let's do it for the sun. Right. Move it, Claire. Thank you. That should do. I would love how to see the, what they're going to do with this to remake. They should do all three of them properly. I know they've done number one. And they've done zero as well, I guess. But they should do two and three. Although three's not that great. They keep on re-releasing four, five, and six like every time a new console comes out. Like they re-released it for 360, they re-released it for PC, they re-released it for Xbox One. All four, all, well, apart from number five, it came out on 360, but... Every time they release a Resident Evil game, they re-released it on other consoles. Which just doesn't make sense. Why not just stick to it? Until the end. And I will take the red jewel. Can I inspect the red jewel? Check. Okay. It's usually a blood red jewel about the size of a fist. Oh, you don't have the freaking looky looky thing in this, do you? Oh, don't be a dead end. Thank fuck. Okay, let's go see what's this way then. This way, stay away from the windows. Oh, this is the star's room. I thought the star's room was downstairs. No wonder I got confused. There's a shotgun here. Then I can take out that liquor. And then go new places. I think. Right. There are various devices that must be where they gathered information. Yeah, the communication desk is out of order though. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken... Okay, never mind then. I am mistaken. Can we go there? There are unopened cardboard boxes. It looks like a rookie's desk. Leon's desk. Okay, does it say Leon Scott Kennedy? Right, revolver. Oh, well, that will do. That will do indeed. Thank you very much, game. Well, I've got something to stop licking now, at least. Or the group of those a-holes. Is this Leon's jacket my jacket? The desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. Or Chris. Was this one? A picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. How do you know it's a girl's desk? Or it could be himself. Do you ever think about that? Ah, Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employ employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough all dam damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Ooh, that's the medallion I need for the freaking thing. Sweet. Well, I can got got somewhere to go now, at least. Right, one more desk to check on. Bullets, please. Ooh, the owner is probably a member of NRA. That's Barry, then, isn't it? It's probably Barry's. It's trash. Someone must have researched the desk. Researched the desk. Is that what I said? Marksman contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, he's a really good shoot a freaking gunsmith. Thank you, secret bullets. Thank you for being my friend. Any more secret bullets? No? Okay. Well, I've got a grenade launcher, so... I guess I could go... Well, I could avoid the liquor. But let's continue onwards a little bit more. Before I dash back. Once I dash back. Ooh. Well, thanks for the map, dudes. I like how he just prints off at the right time for a map. Oh, no, it's an essay. Two sheets. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. 
Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Incorporated, so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We are continuing with our investigation. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Incorporated over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the mansion on the mansion lab along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate accounts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. The mail to Chris. Well, there were no need for me to pick that up then, were they? Really? So I've got a pistol on my way. I may head, head back now to save it. We'll see what's doing that this way first. It might be a dead end or something for now. So if that's the case, I can just carry on going where I need to go. Yeah, thought so. So the only way to go then, you go in there to get the grenade launch so you can get past some group of people, don't you? That's what I assume. That would make sense. Because this way is dead end now, right? Just got to get back everyone by everyone else now. So I can even go to the, the main hall to save it. Or just traverse downstairs. I don't know which one would be safer. Maybe the main hall, but again, if I die on the way there. Again, the main hall is safer because I'm not running past like 700 people just to get to that door down there. So I would suggest this bit is safer. Whew. Am I ready though? Right, okay. Wait for him to walk a little bit more. Sneak past him. There we go. See? Easier. Safer. I was gonna get past the liquor. But I might just freaking blast him with a weapon or something. Just to get him out of the way, I think. Right. I think that might be a good idea. But again, I don't want to die, so... <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Fuck. Holy crap. Get off it, Claire. Jesus. My number one rule, and I broke it. Stay away from the fucking windows. I didn't listen to it. Jesus. Somehow I knew. I somehow knew. For fuck me. <laughs> Are you still in here? I don't know, and I'm scared that you are. Yeah, you are. Ah. Fuck off, bitch! Are you dead? You're fucking dead. Good. Right. I'm gonna use those, because I feel safe using that. Right. Bye-bye, liquor. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Stay dead. Please, bro. I feel like if I come back through here now, normal zombie should appear. I'm not that prick. Hate that fucking thing. That's why I had enemies for it or bullets for it. Right. I'm not done yet though. Do I have Hello? Okay, do I have No. I'll go take these out then because I'm just gonna take everything with me. I've got acid rounds if I want to take them. But all these are just to take it, get rid of those zombies in the hallway. And I'll switch back to the pistol for single enemies. You know, just to keep up appearances and shit. Right, let me go and save it. And we can end the video then. Yay! I made progress ish. I got a gun at least. Okay. There we go. Ooh! I also have to use that medallion too. I don't know what they can do though. Could be helpful. Could be something, at least. But either way, I am going to leave it there for today with this video of Resident Evil 2. More to come tomorrow. Definitely more to come tomorrow. We'll use the medallion on the fountain 
and go down the other way and take down all those zombies with my grenade launcher to see where we can go. But either way, I'm going to live there for today. And I am going to leave you with Place for My Head by Linkin Park. Enjoy. I wanna